is December 31st, 2023. My God. Yeah, it's been a lot. A lot. Um, you know, I want people to realize I'm not racist against Latinos. That's where I'm not. But I'll tell you what, if you reverse the scenario, they, you actually think about it. If us U.S. citizens went down to Mexico, we started drug trading, human trafficking, serial killing their people. And we told those people in Mexico, you can't call your local police. You're not to tell on us. They'd laugh at us and call us crazy. Probably put a bullet on us. Right? Then tell the police they can't help the victims. And people are say they don't believe them. The police would probably shoot them in the face and say, damn, the cartel got them. No need to look into this one. They, they, you're, that's where I look at U.S. citizens. Where these illegal immigrants, where they're coming to the United States, once they get their citizenship and they realize how many rights they have, they will become proud to be a U.S. citizen. And they will look at them and say, I'm a U.S. citizen, and you can't treat me that way. I have rights, and I have constitutional rights. And they will take pride in that and hold it dear. See, that's where they even have rights in their country. And if we went down and tried to take their rights away and tell them they couldn't say anything and nobody could help them, they laugh in your face. They'll probably put a bullet in your cell. See what I mean? The whole thing's insane. And these people acting like dogs going, <gasps> You told us not to say anything. Okay. You know what I mean? It just to the point of stupid. And people acting ridiculous. Yesterday on December 30th, 23, I had, uh, went to, um, Walmart, oh, about six o'clock in the evening. And, um, I got my glasses and I go to leave. A group of people are outside laughing at FBI agent. Well, said, what on earth? Nobody even knows what to say to her anymore. Even agent Will told us when this first started, they're using her as a pawn. And as a pawn, those two drug lords fighting over this area. Hmm? So they'd have an excuse. He told us that. And that they made everything up on her. He told us. And they were just using her as a pawn. And him standing in the middle of that parking lot. Screaming. He set her up for Dave. And he stole her money. And he told us he knew it was a pawn. From those two drug lords. Fighting it out in this area. And they were drug trading and human trafficking. So no one had tell on them. And just using her as an excuse. And he's screaming. He set her up. And stole her money. I know nobody even knows what to say to her anymore. I, and the other person's like. Well you know. He, he confessed that he talked to everyone. And then tried to tell her she couldn't say anything. He don't have that kind of authority either. I know. And they're busting out laughing. People don't even know what to say to her. He's been spewing all kinds of stuff out of his mouth that he can't do. Turn him in. He thinks you're stupid. Just like selling the walk into the case. Now the M13 Mexican drug cartel is live streaming other witness protection programs. He can't do any of that. He's been fooling everybody. They have break that they bribed him, they paid him off, and he stole over three hundred thousand. That's what he's doing. They still owe me that money. It is for working the case. I've talked to a criminal attorney, prosecutor's office, uh, and several police departments. And then I looked it up on Google. It's an embezzlement. It's a severe act of theft. He can't misdirect, give away anybody's money. You have to be found guilty in a court of law. And then you have to be civilly sued. And then the civil suit is awarded through that judge and jury. You can't just take somebody's money and steal get that case and even a criminal attorney you get paid for the rest of your life for working any part of any case and they have to protect you and they can't drop you and they can't ask you to stay quiet and I told them how he talked to me 
Yes, I'm not stopped on him. How can you like that? He can't be in your home. And I was telling him uh, how I found out who he was, that he was my ex-husband's girlfriend's dad and a drug cartel. He can't do that. Now I had bruises and throwing up, and they were drugging me up with roofies and telling me to say stuff I've heard and putting shower scenes out of the room. And they're like, he can't do that. And I told them how the guy, that agent bullied me into false statements. He can't talk to you that way. Just like the prosecutor's office, the only thing legal he did was list you informant with statements, money, and immunity. That's the only time somebody can be in your home. It's the Fourth Amendment. Right to privacy. Then you have a right to remain quiet and a right to an attorney. This is He's scamming people. FBI, I want my money to help my kids and my grandkids. And I'll tell you what. Someone needs to look for Dave and that woman. And I thought of one place they might be in it like the authorities. No. But... Just on a weird chance. Just in case. But if not, he's dead, or him and her dead, or the cartels got them both. And she's an illegal immigrant from Japan. You See, I think where President Biden opened the Mexican border, let the Latinos come across. They thought all of our borders were open. Not so fast. You bring anybody else from other countries, you fly them in. You have to go through Homeland Security. They have to be approved. It takes six to ten months to make sure they're not a terrorist. You can't just go by. And then even in Japan, you buy somebody. You pay any amount of money, even a mail order bride. You actually exchange money. It's human trafficking you go to jail. Somebody, nobody's heard Dave's voice in the 30 days. He's not putting a new post on Facebook. There's a very good chance he's dead. Because they're getting weird text messages. He feels like a 16-year-old boy. No man talks like that. No man wants to feel like a boy. They want to feel like a man. I've talked to even other men. They're like, nobody would ever say that. Exactly. They need to find them. And she needs to be returned. In one of their wedding pictures, there was kids in it. Um, I don't know anything about them. Dear God, I hope they're not hers. And I hope they're not with them. During the case, they had special order women, and they were talking about grabbing people that were special orders. They said 53135 blonde. They took a 15 year old kid out of the building. Um, she could have been a special order bride or a special order girl because they marrying somebody that he paid for online within two days of meeting her from a different country brought her back acting rashly take off and never coming back to the u.s and left with no money no clothing left out tens of thousand dollars worth of assets he could have sold not a word of it not a word of it do i believe and nobody's actually heard his voice they need to look for Dave and that woman. And if she's got children, they need to look for that children. That cartel cuts people up in pieces. I've met several people that have lost people to them. They need to look for them. And if that lady's alive and, her, and if she does have kids, they need to return her safely back to Japan. And Dave needs to go to jail for human trafficking. I'm going to blow this.